Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. We have been way behind on videos, but that's not the only thing we're behind on. We're behind on pretty much everything. I just sat these bales here this morning and there are already cicada shells on them. Gosh, look at this, Courtney. I don't even know if I can get in there and see it. Oh, that's nothing. I know. That's nothing. I know, Grover. It's crazy. Yeah. Our problem really has been a lot of problems just piling up. Not the least of which is the deafening sound of all of these cicadas out here. Can you even hear me, Kenny? Not really. I know. I can't even hear myself think. We've been dealing with all of the usual spring struggles, like tons of rain and too much work to do in one season. But on top of that, we've got this distribution center going in right next door. We've been thinking about buying a new property because of that. We've had a pretty significant loss in our, in our extended family. And Kenny totaled his truck. Fortunately, he and Bridget are fine, but you know, doesn't add wait does add but you know more stuff lots of stuff so much stuff the rain has stopped and kenny's free today so we're just gonna start with item number one on the to-do list what's that keeping grover out of this dang hay feeder We have this wooden hay feeder that's really perfect for the bucks and the alpacas. Everybody eats out of it really well. Alpacas love to put their heads down in it because they're grazers. But Grover, every dang day I come out here, he is standing in it, he is peeing in it, he is pooping in it. Not okay, Grover. Not okay. He doesn't care. I keep telling him, you cannot pee where you eat. Nubians don't care. Don't care. So today we're gonna fix it. So today we're gonna fix it. I said that. Oh, I thought you were saying you wanted me to say it. Well, I want you to do it, but I guess I gotta do it. Today you're gonna fix it. Yeah, <laughs> with your supervision. That's right. And your vision is so super. It is. I'm excited, let's do it. Let's, let's get cracking. Okay. Okay, I need you to get that feeder out of there first so I don't smell like goat pee. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, apparently Kenny is allergic to intact male goats. Big time. So that's that's really helping. Yeah. I'm allergic to all in intact um, males. Just putting that out there. Gross. Just kidding. Look at the playhouse. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They're everywhere. Cicadas are taking over, folks. For some reason, these cicadas just love the color blue. Anything I have that's blue, they just stick to. Gross. What you doing, Bridget? Just picking strawberries. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I got real hungry. I asked Mama if I could pick some strawberries, and then I can pick some strawberries. Well, that's fun. You pick a good one? Yeah. Let me see. I can get it. <laughs> Be careful of the other ones. Can you help me, Daddy? Yeah. Stuck. Oh, well, that one might not be ready yet. Ready. Yeah, it's a little mushy. That's okay. It means it's good. Eat it. Nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. Yum. My favorite thing to do is pick strawberries off of here. Court's gonna go in there and distract them and then get the goat feeder out of there. So that way I can start working on it. Courtney built this thing by herself. It's kind of a, a dilapidated mess, to be honest, but it's effective. You don't need anything special. But it, it would be good if we could get something that, you know, worked a little bit better. All right. Yeah. 
take it over there by the um, front of the thingamabobber. I mean, now that I got it out, do you think you could hold one side? Yeah, I guess so. Just gotta take off anything that's broken. I guess that one was looking a little rough. Yeah. Well, they all are kind of, like that one's rotting out at the bottom. We have the material, so might as well fix it. It's the wrong bit. I just walked in a circle. I keep seeing that shot in TV shows. What's that? Where you go like this. Oh, aren't you fancy? Aren't you fancy? All right, I'm making myself sick. Stop doing that. <laughs> Silly. You screwed in from somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah. Concrete? Who made this thing? You got this from the place we got the alpacas, right? Yeah. They're concrete screws. I guess use what you got, right? Yep. This is a bunch of wood that we took off this place that, that Kenny built that the kids never really played with. But we pulled all of the nails and took all of the screws out of it. Oh my gosh. Ew. I think cicadas just peed on me. What? Cicadas just peed on me. I read a thing today about how they pee a lot. <laughs> well, I already needed a shower, I suppose. Anyway, recycled wood. That was my point. Uh, the box isn't like the same all the way around, but it'll all be 48 inches high regardless. So I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go in the shop real quick, grab a uh, drill bit and some screws. We'll get the legs on, and then we'll start working on the roof. Okay. And it's not on, um, well, no, it'll hold here and here. And then this is just not doing anything. Okay, that's what we'll do. Otherwise, yeah, then the weight would be on the screws. We'll just go straight down. Whatever you say, man. That's what I say. So you'll love this. All these screws are actually from everything I tore down over there. I just saved them all. That's why there's like three different colors. Actually, I think this is just a whole box of recycled crap. Not to make sure I don't put the leg going the other way. So <laughs> I'll just yeah, flip it. yeah, don't do that. Can't get the two by four in there, so I gotta um, okay. overhang. It'll be all wonky otherwise. Look at that. Yep, should be good. Yeah, good enough. No, I'm just gonna do the other one. I know, but I could hold it, and then you wouldn't have to do the thing where you have to match everything. No, it's up. totally fine. Shouldn't need to pre-drill these because you're not going, you're not gonna have the drain split. Or shouldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Whatever you say, man. I mean, it's probably best practice to do it, but I don't really practice the best way I can. <laughs> <laughs> Our best practice is, is it done? Right? 
Because if it's done. That's the best it's going to get. That is the best. So I'm going to put two, two screws in one, but I'm going to go at like little angles so they're not all in the same part of the wood grain. So they kind of alternate because you don't want the same grain to split twice. I gotcha. I got this new monster battery. Uh, it makes this so much easier. Thank goodness for monster batteries. Somewhere in there? There we go. No. No, other way. I got it. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. What do you think the best angle is gonna be? To cut that at? Yeah. 45 degrees. You think? Think that'll work? I don't know. 45? Sure. That's what we're gonna do. It's better than 90 degrees, so. It is. I just, I just don't want it to dig into the ground like our other thing did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what if it were, what is this? 65 degrees? Sure. Would that be better? Yeah, 65 degrees is where it's at. It looks like it's going to stab somebody. It's like a sword point. Well, then in case you're out here and you need a weapon, you can use it. I think 45 will be fine. What do you think? It's yours. I'm sure 45 is fine. All right. 45 it is. That's why when you asked me, I said 45 the first time. Oh, that makes sense. You did not wishy-washy on that at all. Mm -mm. All right, cut these by hand or cut these with the saw? Saw. Get the power tools. What? I still have this thing on. I don't know what that is. Eh, it's fine. It's for a different tool. It mm. just makes it a little bit more cumbersome, I think. Mm. Now, just don't cut yourself. Oh, um, can I still ride it? Yeah. And I have to take it off. Oh my goodness. It's not my fault. Well, I don't want you to cut off your hand, so. Yeah. That'd put a real kink in the project. Well, I have another one. It, it got, <laughs> it got a little caught. I might just freehand that from now on. Like that one and a half inches is going to make that much of a difference, but in my head it does. Yeah, I think it makes sense to cut the runners the same length. I'd rather do it than not do it. Yeah. This sucker up, right? Okay. No, I can help. I don't think you're supposed to bend the legs like that. Um, Courtney, I'm thinking either 48 is too high, or we fixed our problem by making it this high. Because it's 48 and an inch. That's 49. That's 49. If yeah. you're not good at math. It's not. But I still say we put a roof on it anyway, so in case we need to move it. But I might need a ladder, huh? You might. We definitely, I, I think this fixes our immediate problem. The immediate problem, yeah. But it doesn't keep it dry. No, that's true. But. I mean, do we want to do the roof now, or do we want to eat dinner with our family? Do you want the real answer? Who? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course I wanted, I mean, 
eat dinner with the family. Here, look, look yeah. out, yeah. potato. Yeah. Ah! What? What's wrong with you? A lot. I mean, this would fix the problem, and then I wouldn't be stressed about getting everyone to bed at a reasonable time. All right. Well, how about we put a rope on this to be able to pull it then? Okay. Uh, for now. Okay. You can always put a roof on it later. All right. Deal. In another video. In another video, we'll make a roof. Where's the rope? Do you have a rope? Um, I think there's some rope in the shed, I think. And I have some eyelets in the garage I can go get. All right. You go look for the eyelets. I'll go look for okay. the rope. Ready to go. You take the camera because the, there's no light in the shed. Well, here, we'll just come back. Ready, okay, go. go. I know there's a ton of eyelets in there somewhere in the garage, but um, I don't know where I put them. Like they were in a, they're all in a bin, but they're like one of the things that aren't labeled. So I don't know where they are and I didn't want to waste time. So I did find this, this polyethylene rope, which is good because it I won't. I didn't find any in the shed? Yeah, and yeah. it won't get nasty. Okay. So we'll use this. Um, Hmm. Best place to put it though. It'll just fall down. It and will then just... they'll get all nasty. Yeah. I think the best place to put it is on after we find those eyelets at a later date. You just want to do everything later. I mean, I just want to do. Um, I don't know. I'll, how about okay. I just put it on here? It can be taken off because it's not permanent. Okay. Rope's not permanent? Knots are not permanent? No, no they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. Whoop. Come back here. That should lock itself onto itself. That should be plenty. And look, there's a nice little hole here that you can put the rope in. And let it... That is exactly why I put that hole there. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. And then you should just be able to pull it out and move it, right? Yeah. And there shouldn't be a goat in it when I try to move it. There should not be a goat in it. Well, let's let's find out. Let's drag it on over there and see how it drags. But where are you pulling it to? That way. Okay. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, there's a piece of wood behind you. Yeah. You're going to have to lift it up over that, right? Look, see, it's doing that thing again already. Well, it's in mulch and it's going downhill. It needs to be wider. I got you. If it was, wasn't sliding on grass or mulch. Yeah, it needs to like lift up from down there. Yeah. So I feel like I need to put it down there. The rope so, down there, yeah. yeah. Not up here. All right. Easy fix. Look, see? Non permanent knots. Whoa. I could just drill holes like right here. Yeah. And put it in there. You could. I'm going to tie it here so it pulls like that. Okay. Where's your box cutter? Um, over there somewhere. You want me to get it? No. I hate it when you're right, Courtney. Should have gotten the box cutter. Honey, 
There's a hay bag in there. We can put the rest of this in. Oh, is that what you meant? Yes. What are you doing? Just being funny. I don't know. Nothing now? Yeah, come on. Um, future reference, don't fill it if you have to move it. Yeah. It's not light now. But it's moving. What do you think, Nick? Can you still reach? Can you still reach, Nick? Hey, Packers. They're like, yes, no one peed in this hay. It's so good. Where's Grover, though? It's like he's avoiding us. This is huge. Grover in the feeder has really been stressing me out. And I come out to take care of the animals first thing in the morning. And it starts off my day with something that I'm like, no, why? Why is this still happening? So I'm excited. We just have to get back in the habit of taking things one thing at a time, one day at a time, not getting so overwhelmed with the big picture. And for those of you that asked what you can do to help, just prayers and good thoughts for our family would be incredibly appreciated. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon.